Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of EV Unite. In this video we're going to be reviewing the Grizzly Home EV Charger that I've got right here and also doing a demonstration where we charge a Tesla Model Y using this charger. This is part of a video series. In the first video I did a unboxing and I showed you everything that comes with the product and a general overview. In the second video I showed you how to mount and install the charger on the wall. Now if you're new to the channel and you're interested in electric vehicle content then I definitely consider subscribing to the channel and at the end of the video if you found any value in it then please consider giving it a thumbs up. So without further ado let's get started. So the Grizzly Home EV Charger, it comes in different options. This one here is the 40 amp version and it is adjustable. You can go to 32 amps, 24 amps or 16 amps. Now with the 40 amp version, um, it's supposed to charge anywhere from 28 to 30 miles per hour, um, which is pretty fast um, and competitive with other chargers on the market. This is the Avalanche Special Edition and that's why it's white. Um, you may have seen other Grizzly chargers which are black. Um, I think the only main difference here is the color um, and that might be something that you might choose to match your house or the aesthetics of wherever you're mounting it. Um, this one here, it comes with the 24 foot cable. They also make an option that's 18 foot cable. In addition to it being 24 feet, it's also considered the premium cable option which makes it just a little bit more flexible, but also more durable. Now, the connector itself here, this is a J1772 connector. So we're gonna be charging the Tesla here in just a minute. And to do that, we're gonna use the adapter that goes from J1772 to Tesla. The charger you see here is the NEMA 14-50 plug but they also make it in a NEMA 6-50 variant as well, depending on what type of plug you have. Um, the input cable itself is only one foot and a quarter, so it's not very long. So where you mount the box is important to make sure that you're within a foot to the actual plug itself. Um, it does have built-in GFCI protection and it will recover in the case of a power outage to your home. Now, this charger is really meant purely just to charge your car. Unlike some other chargers that have smart features, for example, connecting to an Alexa or having an, a mobile app where you can chat, track your charge and things like that, this charger does not have any of those features. It's kind of a stripped down charger that's meant to be durable and reliable and just charge your car. So the enclosure here is really strong and durable. This is an aluminum enclosure. The dimensions are, 10 and a quarter inches in the length, six and a quarter inches in the width, and then it's about three and a half inches in depth. Now, this particular enclosure is NEMA 4 rated. So what that means is that this can be mounted outdoors without any problems. So this is watertight and airtight, and it's also IP67 rated. So in kind of any sort of extreme weather conditions, this thing is gonna hold up and it's not gonna get any water ingress into the unit. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a demo where we charge the Tesla Model Y that's right behind me using the Grizzly charger. And to do that, we're gonna use this. This is a Tesla adapter. So this is Tesla on one end and J1772 on the other end. All right, so to start out, let's take a look inside the car just to see where we're currently at with charge. So you can see the car is at 249 miles charged. Um, right now, the car is already pretty fully charged, so the charge rate might not be the maximum. And you can see I also have a limit set where the arrow is right there. Let's go ahead and plug the charger into the car. So we've got this sitting right here. All right. So, okay, now it has turned green, so that means that we are charging. And let's take a look inside the car. So right here, we could see the charge rate. So this is currently at 13 miles per hour, um, and now it's climbing up. And you can see we're at 27 and climbing up to 40 amps. 
and we're charging at about 240 volts. All right, so now that we've reached 40 amps, you can see we're charging at 35, 36 miles per hour, and we're still at around 240 volts here. Okay, so it's just been a minute or two, and you can see that we've added one mile of range to the car, and we're still charging at 36 miles per hour. Um, in order for it to get to that white um, line right there, it's supposed to take 25 minutes. So let's go take a look at the actual charger. And you can see here, we've got this green flashing LED and that's signifying that we're charging. And that's also shown on the car itself, the green light showing that we're charging. All right, so now that we've had a chance to try the product out, I'm gonna give you a review and I'm gonna start with some of the things I like about the charger. To start off, I like the general aesthetics of the charger. I think it looks nice hanging up on the wall. And I like the really compact design to it. Um, one of the things I like the most about this product is how well built and durable the product is. When you feel it, you can see that this enclosure um, is just really strong. The, the cable is well built, the handle is well built, and this is a charger that's gonna last. Um, I've tried out several different chargers at this point, and this is definitely the highest build quality I've seen out of any of the chargers that I've tried. Um, another thing that I really like about the cable um, is that it's 24 foot long and it's fairly flexible. Now, it's not maybe as flexible as I'd like it to be if you compare it to something like a Tesla charger, which is very flexible and a smaller diameter. But for this style charger, I think it is a pretty good cable. Um, another thing that is unique about this product compared to some of the other chargers on the market is that this is UL certified. Um, a lot of third party chargers that you'll find on the market, uh, maybe from overseas suppliers, are not UL certified. This particular charger is made in Canada, so it's right here in North America, and it's not being imported from some other country overseas. In addition to that, I really do like the handle storage. So although the handle storage is mounted separately from the main body, it has a nice lead in that allows you to put the handle in really easily. Some of the other chargers that I've seen have a handle storage that isn't as great and it makes it a little bit difficult. You really have to line up the handle to get it to fit into the handle storage. This one, because it has that large lead in, it really just guides the handle right into position and clicks into place. Another thing that I think shows the good build quality are the two strain reliefs. So there's one for both the input cable as well as the charging cable, and that's important. So if you're moving the cable around or bending or flexing them, that the cables are not going to get damaged. Now, on top of all the fantastic build quality features of this charger, it's also backed by a three-year manufacturer warranty, which is great. I think some of the um, other options on the market don't have as long of a warranty or any warranty at all. So three years is pretty good as a manufacturer warranty. So right now, the only thing preventing someone from stealing this unit is this cotter pin. And then you can see on the other side of the unit, there's just a little pin that's holding it in place. So if someone wanted to steal this unit, they potentially would just unplug the plug at the bottom, remove that pin, and then the entire unit would come off the wall. Additionally, the bracket behind it is only being held by two screws. So I think that it would be nice to see an actual lock and key to prevent this unit from getting stolen. This charger sells on Amazon for $439. And I think at that price, this is a fantastic value and a really great charger. Um, there are other chargers on the market that are much more expensive and they do have some additional bells and whistles such as smart features and things like that. But if you're looking for just a really durable, well-built charger, I think for $439, this is a great value. Right now, as of making this video, if you go on Amazon, this charger has 4.7 stars out of five, which is really phenomenal. And that's based off of 237 reviews. So this is really um, a charger that a lot of people have had a good experience with, and it's a charger that I feel comfortable recommending to anyone. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you still have any questions, then please leave those in the comments section below. If you found any value in the video, then please consider liking the video. 
And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more electric vehicle content in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.